2.1 Trigonometric Functions of Acute Angles. So right triangle based definitions of the trigonometric function, co-functions, how function values change as angles change, and trigonometric function values as special angles. So we're talking about right angles. We're going to talk about right angles until I say we stop talking about them. So basically until chapter 6 we're talking about right angles. So we know Sokotoa. We might remember that from school. I've brought it up in videos already. So remember, Sokotoa sine is opposite over hypotenuse, also known as y over r. Cosine is x over r, or adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is uh, y over x, which is opposite over adjacent. And then we have the reciprocals of them, and a nice neat picture. So we've already talked about Sokotoa. But now we're talking about it more specifically with certain angles. So I want Sokotoa of certain angles now. So we're going to find trigonomic function values of an acute angle. We're going to find sine, cosine, and tangent of angle A and angle B. So angle A, that means like we're standing at angle A and we're looking outward to the triangle. So we're standing, like it's like you're standing at A and looking out. So we need to find the sine of A. Then we need to find the cosine and tangent of A. So staring out at A. So Sokotoa sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite that angle is 7. The hypotenuse is 25. No matter where you're looking, the hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse. The only thing that's changing is x and y. All right, so for cosine a, so we're standing at a. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent a is 24, and the hypotenuse is 25. Now, same thing for tangent. So at tangent, it's toa, so opposite over adjacent. So opposite angle A is 7. Adjacent is 24. Now you're going to see the difference. How is that different from B? How is that different from sine, finding sine, cosine, tangent B? So we need to find sine, cosine, and tangent. We need to find that of B. So now we're standing at B. So now we're standing at B and looking out into this triangle. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite of B is 24. But the hypotenuse didn't change. It's still 25. Because remember, your radius is your radius. It doesn't change regardless. OK, now we have cosine B. So at B. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so adjacent, remember adjacent is never the hypotenuse, so adjacent is 7, and the hypotenuse is still 25. Now we have tangent B, so standing at tangent, it's opposite over adjacent, so opposite standing at B, not st you're not standing at tangent, standing at B, opposite is 24. And adjacent, adjacent, not hypotenuse, is 7. So you see how our answers change just by where we're standing? Co-function identities. For any acute angle A, co-function values of the complementary angles are equal. So sine A is the same thing as cosine and 90 minus A. Tangent A is the same thing as cotangent 90 minus A. Secant is the same thing as cosecant 90 minus A. And then reciprocal. 90 is the same thing as pi over 2. So you could also do pi over 2 minus a for all of these. If you're working with radians, which we aren't yet, you would use pi over 2. That's going to come in chapter 3, but I just wanted to throw that out there now. 90 pi over 2, the same thing. So we're going to write functions in terms of its cofunction. So we need to write cosine 52 as its cofunction. So we're given a value, but I want to write it in another value. So we're given cosine 52. Now, the co-function to cosine is sine. It's right, it's right here. I boxed it in white. So the co-function 
is sine. So we're going to be plugging this into sine 90 degrees minus A. A is the actual cosine or the uh, function they gave us of 52. So then we get sine 38 degrees. So these two right here are co-functions of each other. And then these two right here, those numbers, are complementary. All right, tangent 71. So the co-function to tangent is cotangent. So we have tangent 71 degrees equals cotangent 90 degrees minus what they give us of 71. And we get cotangent 19 degrees. So they are complementary. 71 and 19, those are complementary of each other. All right, so secant 24. So the reciprocal or the um, co-function to secant is cosecant 90 minus A. So we'll have secant 24 degrees equals, now the co-function, the co-function is cosecant. So we have cosecant 90 minus A. A is 24 degrees. So we get cosecant 66 degrees. Now, right now, it's just learning how to work with everything. Throughout the semester, we figure out why did we learn this? Why did I le learn cofunctions? You'll learn through the semester. We have to build you up to that point. All right, example three, solving equations using cofunction identities. So we have cosine theta plus four equals sine three theta plus two. So sine and cosine are cofunctions. So that tells us something really important. It tells us that cosine equals sine, given co given cofunction, only if the sum is 90. They only equal if it's 90 degrees. That's why it's complementary. So then we know if we put both of these together, it's supposed to equal 90 degrees because they're complementary. So if we put both of these together, that's theta plus 4 degrees plus 3 theta plus 2 degrees, it's supposed to equal 90 degrees. So we have 4 theta plus 6 degrees equals 90. We solve for theta and we get 21 degrees. Subtract 6, divide by 4. That's how we get 21. All right, so for B, we have tangent and uh, 2 theta minus 18 degrees and cotangent theta plus 18 degrees. Tangent and cotangent are cofunctions. Since that's the case, our 2 thetas if we add them together, it's supposed to equal 90 degrees. So our first group of degrees, we have 2 theta minus 18 theta. And then we're going to add that to 0, or sorry, theta plus 18 uh, degrees. And that equals 90. So we combine like terms. We get 2 theta and theta. That's 3 theta. Negative 18, 18, it goes away. That's why I said zero, because in my head, that's what I was thinking. So we get theta is 30 degrees. All right, important triangles, 60, 60, 60, and 30, 60, 90. And yes, we will talk about 45, 45, uh, 90 this semester. All right, so bisect one angle of an equilateral triangle to create two 30, 60, 90 triangles. So if we have an equilateral triangle, it's not 90 degrees, but what we can do is bisect it, a.k.a. cut it in half, and then what that does is it creates a 30, 60, 90 triangle. When you have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, 
x, it's either going to be positive or negative square root of 3. It just depends if it goes down or up, whether it's going to be positive or negative. All right, we're going to find um, example 4. Let's find trigonomic function values for 60 degrees. So we want to find sine 60, cosine 60, tangent 60, cotangent 60, secant 60, cosecant 60. All right. So using our triangle, now you're going to have to memorize 30, 60, 90 triangles. So using our triangle, sine 60. So that means we're standing at 60, and we need to find sine 60. So sine is opposite of our hypotenuse, so it's going to be positive square root of 3 because it's going up. So we have opposite, which is positive square root of 3, over hypotenuse, which is 2. All right, cosine 60. So standing at cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, we have 1 over 2. Tangent is opposite over hypotenuse, so square root of, sorry, opposite over adjacent, so square root of 3 over 1, which is just square root of 3. Now, we don't need the triangles anymore. We can just take the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of cotangent is tangent, so we're going to flip it. That means we have 1 over square root of 3, which is square root of 3 over 3. For secant, we flip cosine. So if when we flip it, we have 2 over 1, which is just 2. And for sine, that's the opposite of cosecant. So we flip square root of 3 over 2. So we'll have 2 over square root of 3, which is 2 square root of 3 over 3. All right, 45, 45, 90. So 45, 45, 90, we have 1, 1, square root of 2. So your legs are 1, your hypotenuse, your radius is always square root of 2. Now this is function values of special angles. You could memorize this, you could if you want to, it doesn't matter. Honestly, what I remember, what I remember is a 45, 45 triangle and then a 30, 60, 90 triangle. I just remember what these look like, meaning the pictures, this picture and this picture, I just remember that, and it works perfectly. And then so Katoa of your 45 degree angles. So again, you don't have to remember all of these numbers. What I remember is just the image. So I would remember this image, and this image. That's what I would remember, and it will set you perfectly through the semester.